Hi everyone, hope you are doing well from whatever you are watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, the Kakamega Deputy Governor, Professor Kutima, was eyeing DAP Kenya party ticket to run for Kakamega gubernatorial seat in this August election. Professor Kutima was not alone. The Lugara Member of Parliament, Ayub Sabula, also was eyeing the same ticket. So they had two candidates. Remember we were talking about Kakamega, where ODM has a single candidate, Fernandez Baraza, and Spati negotiated, they have a single candidate, Senator Cleofas Malala. So on Monday, Professor Kutima decided to endorse the candidature of Ayub Sabula. He stepped down for Ayub Sabula in DAP party. So DAP party has a single candidate. And after that, CS Eugene Wamalwa moved all the way from Nairobi to Kakamega to come and uh, unveil Ayub Sabula as the DAP candidate to fly the gubernatorial seat in Kakamega County. So it's official. Ayub Sabula is in the race. He has already received the DAP party ticket. And now we have three candidates in Kakamega County. Ayub Sabula, Finelas Baratha, and Cleofas Malala. So Azimela Umoja have two candidates from their side. Then Kenya Kwanza have one candidate. So that is the current situation as far as Kakamega politics is concerned. And I'm asking myself a question. What next for Fernandez Baraza and Senator Cleofas Malala after DAP party giving Ayub Sabola the ticket? Because most of us thought that Ayub Sabola maybe they are going to negotiate with ODM so that one person can run for the Senate, another one for the governor, or another one deputize the other, and if not, someone like Ayub Sabola can go back for his current mm -hmm. member of parliament. And so before we go deep into that, I have a quick request. You might be watching this channel, but you have not yet subscribed. So my humble request, please consider subscribing so that any other time, once you release a video like this one, you will always get notified. And again, to all our channel subscribers and anyone who drop comment, I must say thank you so much for your unconditional support. Again, I'm requesting you to give this video a thumbs up so that YouTube can recommend a video to more viewers. And for those who have subscribed and they have not turned on the, the notification bell, please do so so that you will always be notified instantly as once our video is out. Now back to our discussion. There is serious case in Kakamega County because Ayub Sabula was a deputy to Musalem Dabadi as a municipal leader. And Sabula was working on ground especially in Kakamega County, together with those officials in ANC offices, all those branches, Savula was in charge. And when Savula moved to DAP party, definitely Savula moved with some of these leaders. In fact, he moved with some of ANC branch offices. And they were turned into DAP party offices. It means in one way or another Savula was taking care of these people's salary and their interest. That's why it was very easy to change ANC offices into DAP offices. So Savula has somewhere to start from. And now we have ODM party with well-structured leadership within the county with a strong gubernatorial candidate. Then we have Senator Cleofas Malala with ANC party here, a single candidate from Kenya Kwanza coalition. In my view, I think that Ayub Sabula joining this race, number one, he's not going to win this election. That one, take it to the bank. What I see Ayub Sabula is something Bonya Kalwale tried in 2013. He might get votes here and there. But the big, the big problem here is that Ayub Sabula is in Azimio La Umoja. 
And any vote that will go to Ayub Sabula is a loss to Azimia La Umoja as far as Kakamega politics is concerned. Because Ayub Sabula might not win. But he will get some votes. What if Ayub Sabula could have done what Professor Kutima has done to him today to Fernandez Baraza? Just endorse Baraza, then go for the Senate, or if not, Arudikwa Ubunge Kule Lugari. I'm a deputy yak. I think this was the best way to go. Because now Kenya Kwanza is going to face. Uh, Azimela Umoja is going to face with Kenya Kwanza when they have two candidates who will be having Raila Odinga image on their posters. Tiari wa shanta kugawa kura within. And even we have some people who left ANC party watu kama Aseka Miradi they join ODM but still they are campaigning for Ayub Savula. I have seen Savula going through Kakamega County people like Miradi, they are endorsing him. Someone like Bishop Kamala, they are still friends with Ayub Savola. So it means some of these people who left ANC party to ODM, they are still going to support Ayub Savola when ODM has a candidate, Fernandez Baraza. That's why I have been saying that it is not easy to predict who can become the next governor of Kakamega. Because Hapa Farasi ni wawili. Fernandez Baraza and Senator Cleofas Malala. These are the serious competing people in Kakamega. But Ayub Sabula, yeye tunipunda. So the end of Ayub Sabula is complicating issue for Fernandez Baraza in Kakamega County. It is going to be tough and therefore, you need to get back to the drawing board to understand on how he's going to get the vote that Ayub Sabola is going to spoil. <laughs> now, the people of Rugane constituency are going to vote for Ayub Sabola. Ananzia Nyumbani, coming this way. Professor Kutima, who have endorsed him, and I Kabarasi. Kabarasi. They are the largest population. They have the largest population within Kakamega. You know, this is a sub-tribe, Kabaras. So they are the largest. And now one of them, whom they thought is going all the way to the ballot, is endorsing someone here. So it means there are people who are going to listen to him. And they are going to vote for Ayub Sabola. In case Sabola is going to stay together with Kutima to the end. <laughs> because where we have reached even Fernandez Baraza has a running mate and that running mate is not Kutima that means the Kabara's vote has not been taken care of properly as it needed to be and for Senator Kiliofas Malala as long as I Savula is on ballot. He has a fair chance. As long as he has enough resources and he plays politics proper on ground. It is going to be 50-50 between uh, Senator Wetangula and Fernandez Baraza. But if Ayub Savula was not on ballot and he is in Azimia the way he is, then Fernandez Baraza was going to have an upper hand in Kakamega politics. But still, what is complicating Senator Cleofas Malala, Badoni Huyu Ayub Savula, because when Ayub Savula was moving, he moved with some of ANC branch offices in Kakamega to DAP, where Senator Malala was supposed to use in uh, running this, his operations. So even on his side, he is still disadvantaged again. Because someone moved with the branch officers, some of them. I'm not saying all of them, but some of them. And he wanted to use these officers to run his campaign in Kakamega. 
And this tells you that DAP and ODM, they are not negotiating. Things are not good, really, down there. Because we remember how ODM hijacked DAP members of parliament. Those were dumped in the party. And now maybe, by CS Eugene Omalo coming to unveil a candidate in Kakamega, is a fight back to ODM party. And he is not fighting Raila Odinga. What I understand here, there's a cold war between Senator, sorry, between CS Eugene Omalo and eh, Kakamega governor weekly for Paranya. Oparanya simply want to take over the leadership of Western through ODM. And the CSU Eugene Omalo is coming here with the DAP party. He is still want to control Western region politics. And because of this competing interest, that's why these people have two candidates in an area where they were just supposed to have a single candidate. I don't know what to think about this, but that's my view. So let us have a continuation of this conversation through the comment section. Otherwise, thank you so much for listening to me up to this far. May good God bless you and see you in our next video.